We listen to stories all day from our partners, to our kids, to our friends, to our colleagues, but are we really hearing the deep truth? Are we hearing the heart of that story? Most of us aren't. And today I'm gonna to teach you a very simple terminology that's gonna help you listen to the deep truth of the stories around you. Hi, my name is Dr. Osel Romanelli and this is Potential State. And today we're gonna to be talking about deep listening to the heart of the story. So stories shape our lives. In narrative therapy, they go take it one step further and they say our life is basically the story we tell. Change your story, change your life. So as people working with other people and being in relationships with other people, we are constantly hearing their stories. And with their stories, whether it's benign, like the way they got to the, the traffic on the way to work, or very, very deep stories or emotional stories, they're basically telling the, us their lives. And embedded in their stories are deep truths, core beliefs, perception of the world, emotional bits. It's our job as parents, facilitators, therapists, lovers, kids, friends, to know how to listen to people. So this is a terminology that is very, very simple. So there's three levels to every story. The first level is the factual levels. Who, what, when, where. We usually hear this from the people when people tell us a story. This requires our frontal cortex just to retain information. The second layer corresponds with the limbic brain, right? Which is the feelings. Some people tell stories that are full of emotion and I felt this and I was scared and I was, and sometimes they don't. They just tell the, you know, they just tell the story very, very plain logistically and then you have to infer the feelings. But it's the third layer, the deeper layer, which I call the universal or the archetypal layer, which is the most personal. So Jung talked about the archetypes, the human imprints that we all have, the witch, the wizard, mother, child, warrior. Okay, We have all these archetypal universal themes or topics or feelings that anywhere, any person around the world feels. And in every story, beyond all the details, if we clean away all the details, there's a deeper truth. There's a primal truth. And that it's, it's the universal aspect of every story that becomes the most personal. Because I just heard a story about a guy walking his dog and the dog is sick and he, he might need an operation. I don't have a dog, but it doesn't relate to me. But if I dig deep down to the archetypal level, this is going to be about love and loss or fear of loss. And that is relevant for me. So if I can listen to the archetypal level, if I can clean away and find the primal truth, with that, I can start working. I can start relating my personal story or from facilitating a group, I can relate to that theme instead of dealing a lot with the facts or even the feelings. We do this a lot in playback theater, right? In playback theater, it's improvisation based on people's stories. My job as a conductor is to hear the story and to kind of extrapolate the heart of the story. What's the universal theme? Because the idea is that a story talks to a story. So once we can touch on the universal theme of that story, another story will emerge from somebody else in the group or in the audience. So I'm going to give you a little example. Just last week, I was facilitating my weekly class and my theater improvisation, my playback theater class. And a woman told a funny story how she was in a few job interviews and, and she's kind of frustrated that she didn't get hired in the end. But the actors who are trained in listening to the universal level, to the archetypal level, they find it, they, it came connected to the, the theme of believing in yourself. Believing in yourself when the world does not see you. And they decided to play it, to enact that story with that as the theme, with that as the heart. And the second they touched on that topic, the teller started crying and the audience started crying. And we suddenly realized like that's what, that, what it was about. And from there, the session just went deeper and deeper. So how can you train yourself to hear the archetypal level of the story? So the first thing is, <clears throat> when you hear that story, first of all, ask yourself, what is the story about beyond all the details? At its essence, what is it? Another way you do it, you just drop, let the story land in your body. You just listen to the body, breathe, see where that story comes. What, what theme, image, metaphor, color, song, what comes up for you? Just, just observe that. And there, once the, that phrase, word, movement, whatever that is, come out, dare to, to relate to that, dare to answer that, or ask a question about that, or share something about that level. Not necessarily a lot of questions about the facts or even the feelings. If you are a group, if you're, if you're in a group or of colleagues, friends, whatever you're facilitating, try to open up that theme and see if anybody else has something to say about the theme, not specifically about the story. 
And over time, as, you, as you're developing the ear for the archetypal level, you will be not only feeling closer to the people that are talking because it's more personal for you because you know exactly what they're talking about, but you'll be able to go quicker and deeper in communication and conversations and having more relevant and intimate and touching moments with other people. So find the heart of the story and start shaping and reshaping your story and other people's stories. My name is Dr. Estelle Romanelli and this was The Potential State. I'll see you next time.